kids, love. welcome back to my channel. So today, Greg and I are going to show you guys meatball subs two ways. We both came up with a concept for a type of meatball sub, and then we're going to show you guys how to make both of them. And then you can click the I in the top corner of this screen, and there's gonna be a little poll where you can vote on which one's your favorite. It'll be interesting to see which ones but you guys will better. like better. I feel like people will like yours better because it's more traditional, but. You will. But. We'll see. <laughs> if you have not seen my kind of full meatball video um, on how to make these meatballs, I mm. will link it in the top corner of the screen and I'll link it below as well. There is kind of like a recap of how to make the meatballs quickly in this video, but um, if you want to see like the full video, then you can go watch that one. Also, if you can't eat gluten and therefore cannot make those meatballs, I will link a gluten-free meatball yeah. recipe below for you guys. So everybody can make the meatballs. Woo. Okay. So that is everything I have to say for now. Let's, Let's get into get the video. Into so in order to make the meatballs, you are going to cook the onion and garlic in a frying pan with a little bit of olive oil until the onions are translucent. And then you can add that to a food processor with almond flour and lentils and process that until it is a relatively smooth paste. It can be textured though. It doesn't have to be completely smooth and you can add your vital wheat gluten, nutritional yeast, salt, and herbs, and just kind of quickly stir that until it's a crumbly mixture. And then you can add in your vegan beef broth or vegetable broth and stir it until it forms a dough. Then you can just roll the meatballs into little ball shapes like this and bake it in the oven for 20 minutes. And then you want to take them out, flip them, and cook them again for another 15 minutes. Okay, so starting with my sub, I wanted to make a sweet and sour meatball sub. So I cooked the meatballs in this sweet and sour sauce until they were kind of sticky and hot all the way through. I really wanted them to get nice and coated in the sauce. In the meantime, I made a spicy mayo with some vegan mayo and sriracha. I always made this to go along with sushi and I decided to put it on this sub because I thought it would be delicious. And spoiler alert, it is delicious. <laughs> I also chopped up some green onions. I thinly sliced some cucumbers and I sliced it in half first so that they were like little half moon shapes. And then I also used this special julienne peeler to get little thin strips of carrot, but you could totally just use a regular cheese grater if that is all you have. And lastly, I chopped up some fresh basil. I highly recommend this. It made the subs taste so extra delicious. So I used a sesame coated sub bun from the grocery store and I actually cut a wedge into the top mostly for photo purposes so you could just slice these normally if you wanted and then inside each one I added a good amount of the spicy mayo then I added in the meatballs I kind of had to push them in here but I managed to get three meatballs per sub and then I got them all ready to bake in the oven so Greg is actually at work when I am filming this voiceover, so that's why I'm going to do the voiceover for him. But he decided to cook his meatballs in a marinara sauce, so this is just a kind of herby basil marinara sauce from the grocery store. And again, he just simmered them so that they got nice and coated in the sauce and really got to kind of absorb all of the flavor. Then he just cut and de-seeded a jalapeno pepper, and he actually used this to go on top of the subs as well as put a chunk of this into his cashew cream sauce. So for the cream sauce, he just added some cashews to a blender along with some water, some salt, and then the chunks of jalapeno and blended that until that was nice and thick and creamy. And as usual, the measurements for all of this will be linked in the description box below. So then he just added that into a little mixing bowl and added some of this chipotle seasoning and stirred it all together. So then he used this kind of more traditional uh, cornmeal topped, I guess this is cornmeal, I think, <laughs> uh, sub buns. And again, he did the same thing. He cut a wedge into the center and then he brushed his with this roasted garlic infused olive oil just to kind of crisp it up and add a little bit more garlicky flavor. And then he added some of the chipotle sauce inside both of the sub buns and followed that up by shoving some meatballs in as well. So again, he got three meatballs per sub. Then he topped it with some shredded vegan mozzarella and a little bit of cracked black 
black pepper and then all of the subs went into the oven at about 350 Fahrenheit for just about 10 minutes just until the tops were golden brown. So the finishing touches that I put on my sub were the cucumber and then I also added the carrot shreds on top followed by the green onions and a little bit more of the spicy mayo. And then last but not least, I sprinkled some of the fresh basil on top. For Greg's sub, he added some more of the chipotle sauce on top and then added some fresh basil and finally the chopped jalapenos. Four subs, two Four people. Subs. Okay, which ones are we gonna do first? I'll try yours first. Okay. Cause you Does think it it's gonna be not good. as good. Um, Huge bite. Yeah. Mm. But I gotta get the crispy end off. I can't bite. Mm. Literally all up my nose. There's spicy mayo in my nose. Sweet, salty. One more bite and then we'll do yours. Greg's sub time. Time to shine. You ready I don't for even this? know how ready to. to stare. Kind of like your bun a little better. But. Mm. They're too tall. This one's like. A classic meatball sub with a little bit of a twist just because you yeah. have the chipotle and the jalapenos. I actually don't know. I don't either. They're mine totally is way different. better than I expected. Yeah, I think mine still wins though. I think it depends what kind of mood you're in. Yeah, that's true. I'm gonna have to vote for my own. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you try out um, one or both of these subs. Try I recommend both. both. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, make sure you click the I in the top corner of the screen and vote for which one you like better or which one you're going to make first. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!